Kyle Busch calls Corey LaJoy a liar, plus Haley Deegan that she headed to Haas Factory in 2025. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Kyle Busch went on to the Pat McAfee show on Friday in studio. And honestly, Kyle Busch needs to do more in-studio appearances, especially on laid-back shows like McAfee, because he was highly entertaining. Old-school Kyle Busch was back. He straight-up called Corey LaJoy a liar. He said that payback's coming. He said he doesn't trust anybody out on the racetrack. He was just laid-back, and he was shooting from the hip, and it was highly highly entertaining. So when Pat asked him about what happened at Pocono last week, if you remember, Corey LaJoy hooks Kyle Busch in the left rear, spins him down the inside of the racetrack. He wipes out a few cars down in the corner. Corey's like, yeah, he hooked himself off the front of my car. He blocks twice. That's what happens to him. Changed his story a bunch of different times. So Kyle, when Pat asked him, had this to say. Like a player's only meeting? Like a driver's no, only No, I didn't meeting? even know. He, he texted me and then he called me. I didn't even reach back out because he changed his story four times. So I'm like, you're just a liar. Like, you wrecked me. Like, I get it. It's fine. Whatever. Payback's coming. But you guys are so yeah, he calls Corey LaJoy a liar, says he changed his story four different times. He texted him, called him. He's not paying attention to him because he changed his story four different times and said payback's coming, which you absolutely cannot say, Kyle. How many times do we have to t go over this? That's premeditated. Premeditation is going to get you in trouble in every court in this country, including the NASCAR penalty court. Now, if he goes out there and pays Kyle or Corey LaJoy back, he's going to get suspended. And frankly, I don't think Kyle Busch even gives a damn at this point because he just seems so checked out on the season. I mean, heck, when Pat asked him, do your cars just suck right now and kyle's like our cars are not very good just straight up honest 100 like yes we are bad over at rcr which is unfortunate because he even talked about last year when they when he got over to rcr how they racked off three wins in the first 16 races and he's like we were doing really well and he said then we just kind of lost our way essentially which is again unfortunate because kyle bush being competitive in the nascar cup series especially with rcr is great for the sport we need him to be more competitive and now kyle bush kind of just being this laid back version of kyle that we've seen before where he's not afraid to just go out there and cause some controversy is really entertaining so hopefully kyle can go out there at the brickyard this weekend and have a solid run try to turn his season around maybe get that win so he can continue his consecutive year win streak because Honestly, I think it's one of the coolest records in NASCAR, and one I don't think is going to be touched, at least not for a long while, considering a lot of the guys that have won races now have also gone winless um, in recent years as well. So for Kyle, it's a cool record. I hope he does more stuff like McAfee. Obviously, he does a lot of like uh, Zoom hits where he's on you know remote, which is cool, but when he's in studio, there's just a whole different vibe there as well. And <laughs> McAfee just referring to him as KY all the time just kept making me laugh for obvious reasons. If you just do a little thinking on what KY is there and just referring to Kyle as that just makes me laugh because it's so absurd. But apparently Kyle can also put it back too, according to what Pat was saying. He and his wife, uh, when they decide to go all out at a party, they go all out in terms of in terms of the capacity of drinking that they can do, which, hey, hats off to them, because certainly I cannot do that at all. So Kyle Bush, do more Pat McAfee stuff and maybe just get a podcast. Screw Denny's podcast. Get rid of Actions Detrimental. Put Kyle out here because he's not afraid to just call anybody out. Just straight up calling somebody a liar is hilarious to me. So moving on to the other topic of the day, the one that seems to be taking up a decent portion of the Internet right now. Rumors flying around that Haley Deegan is headed to the Haas factory team in 2025 to fill one of those seats that has been vacated by Cole Custer and Riley Herbs as both of them move up to the NASCAR Cup Series. Now, I hadn't heard this rumor. I saw where it was coming from. I don't necessarily know the sources that it's coming from. One of them was Sportskedia or keto however you pronounce that do not trust that place at all that is just an aggregator um uh chat gtp website that just takes things generates a bunch of ai content about it and then posts it remotely from india just to get clicks just to get outraged just to do all that so don't trust that source um at all another place it came from on twitter uh it's up in the air in terms of you know uh, credibility on that one so i asked her out sent some text made some calls said hey has anybody heard anything about Haley Deegan to Haas Factory team? And I didn't hear anything concrete about Haley Deegan going to Haas Factory. The only thing I got from one person was maybe, possibly, but hadn't heard anything about it. Like, it could, in theory, happen, but nothing concrete. I did hear Harrison Burton's name come up a couple of times about headed over to Haas Factory on the Xfinity Series side next year. That does make a lot of sense. He has a relationship with Ford. He brings backing with him as well. So all of that checks out. So Harrison had been linked there. He's continued to be linked there. Makes a lot of sense. Maybe Ryan Priest in that second car as well. But for Haley Deegan, 
I know, I know there's a certain section of the internet that desperately wants it to happen. The ones that are writing her letters to DGR still, the ones that are constantly in her comments being like, hey, honey, hope you do well, this and that. Weirdos, don't do that. It's creepy. Stop it. That section of the internet desperately wants her to go over here. It just doesn't really make a ton of sense when you think about it. So a lot of people point to the fact that she has monster funding and that she has a relationship with Ford as being the two reasons why she could end up there. Why the monster thing matters. Uh, people seem to think that monster will just want to slot her into the 98 because that's the monster car, completely ignoring the fact that that's a B2B deal with Riley Herbst's family. So that's probably not the link here. Her monster funding is not what it used to be. There's a reason they only ran on the B pillar of her Xfinity series car this year. There's a reason they didn't run as many primaries last year in the truck series because that funding has been reduced, which that happens, right? They are funding a lot of things right now. And for Haley, she just doesn't have the results to get there. Not saying that that funding can't come back, just saying that right now it doesn't really make sense. So for her budget to go from am racing to the Haas factory team that's a big gap right there like if she could have been in like a third shr car she probably would have been able to buy her way into a third shr car if they wanted to make that happen if ford wanted to make it happen it just didn't happen for for this year not saying it can't happen for next year but her monster funding isn't what it used to be so she's going to have to find another additional source of funding again not saying it can't happen just saying haven't heard anything about that her relationship with Ford as well isn't what like a TRD relationship is. Ford's not really angling to put a lot of their drivers into better positions right now. They did it with Chase Briscoe. Don't get me wrong. They ran him in select races at SHR and then moved him into a full-time SHR Xfinity Series ride and then up to the Cup Series and then got mad at him for wearing a Toyota logo uh, when he announced that he's going to Gibbs. And it's like, well, the best ride that you guys had to offer him was Wood Brothers. And if you're going to have the option of Wood Brothers or the 19 car Joe Gibbs Racing, well, you're going to take Joe Gibbs Racing every single time. So back to Ford, they haven't done a great job about promoting their prospects. Ford's actually terrible about promoting prospects, holding on to talent, literally anything. And then they sit back and they're like, com they'll complain. And it's like, you caused this. Like, you're the reason that this is happening. So for them to like take initiative and move Haley up when they haven't done it to other prospects that I would definitely consider to be better than her, it just doesn't really make sense. There's no reason to put the funding behind her when we've seen the results haven't ever carried over, especially when she was in trucks and really top tier equipment. So I say all that to say, it just doesn't really seem like she's headed over there. The, the, the line, nothing's matching up here. The puzzle piece isn't fitting in. I was trying to think of an example and my brain just completely broke um, there. So drove back from IRP on Friday night, went up for the ARCA and truck series races, uh, 465 in Indianapolis. Who decided to close that down between 65 and 70 deserves to, to be publicly humiliated because that was a miserable experience. I don't know what, I don't know what parkway I was on the Sam Jones parkway or some nonsense like that. Driving all the way through, added on some minutes to the drive, exhausting, got home about one o'clock. Now I'm up here talking about Haley Deegan. It's fine. I just don't think Haley Deegan's going there. Not to say it can't happen, just haven't heard anything up to this point. So let me know in the comments what you think about what Kyle Busch said on McAfee, as well as Haley Deegan. Does she end up over at Haas Factory next year? Does she do an Indy NXT race, which we continue to hear is a possibility for her, and then maybe end up somewhere else in NASCAR next year? Possibly, maybe. Who knows at this point? So let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.